hi everyone my name is stephanie i'd like to welcome you to my youtube video called imperfect and chosen which identifies me i'm very imperfect but god has chosen me and not only me but he has chosen all of us which brings me to the reason why i'm doing this youtube um just to give y'all a little bit more introduction i have been recording youtube for a while i just have not been um consistent i'll post different things such as cooking working out or um maybe even content about christ but moving forward it's mostly going to be focused on christ <laughs> and that is exactly what this youtube will be about it's going to be about christ it's going to be bible studies and if you see me looking down as i just did now it's me looking at my notes okay <laughs> So this is my first time. I just want to make sure that I have everything inputted into this video, all the introductions so everybody will understand what I am doing. Okay. So yes, as I was saying, this YouTube moving forward is mostly going to be about Christ. Yes, we may have a little cooking, workouts, maybe even some vlogs here and there, but the base, the fundamental of this YouTube um moving forward will be about christ it's going to be bible studies to encourage our brothers and sisters or even encourage people who does not um know christ people who wants to know him people who has questions and i wanted to add you know some people might ask so why are you doing this or what are what is your point of doing this i really feel as if god have been um encouraging me or putting it putting it on my heart to go ahead and start becoming more consistent with YouTube videos, um, putting out the word. As you know, there, there has been an increase of people putting out YouTube videos. Let me fix this mic. I hope you guys could hear me. Yeah, there has been an increase of people not only putting out YouTube about Christ, but also doing other um, segments or other ways of pushing out the, the word of God. And I believe I'm just, I just happen to be one of those people too that god have called to do it so um i do encourage you guys to hold me accountable um if i mess up please show me grace i notice a lot of people can be very feisty in those comments when i look at other people's comments when they're um, spreading the word of god please show me some grace as you are learning i am also learning i as you guys can see the show um the youtube video name is imperfect and chosen okay imperfect and chosen <laughs> which means i'm not perfect i'm going to make mistakes here and there and i could admit to that but i am asking for grace okay everybody as i show you grace please show me some grace okay um if i make mistakes i do not mind coming back and apologizing admitting that i was wrong okay because that is what it requires we have to be humble because the god says he resists the pride and i don't want to be prideful because i don't want god to resist me i need god to answer my prayers okay <laughs> Okay, so I want to move into the part where I'm giving you guys a little testimony about myself just to get to know me, okay? So I was raised in the church. I could remember as a four-year-old. Oh, by the way, although I wasn't born in Haiti, my family is Haiti. I'm Haitian, born in America. However, <laughs> I went to school in haiti for my first few years okay i went to school in haiti for my first few years i think i did like um like you know pre-k and then maybe even a little bit of kindergarten and then eventually i came back to the states and started going to school i think i started first grade but the next year because i couldn't speak english they put me back a grade <laughs> but it's not on record but it's obvious to me because of course i knew I, I remember having that conversation um and i remember they confirmed it with my mom and they said yeah we're gonna go ahead and hold her back because she doesn't speak english oh so sad <laughs> but as you can hear now i am fluently speaking english so, um, just a little testimony about myself. So I remember me growing up in church as I was a little kid. Um, I remember the first memory I can remember was in Haiti. I was four years old and my grandma, I was walking with my grandma to Haiti, right? <laughs> um, dang it. <laughs> I said to Haiti, I mean to say to church. <laughs> I was walking to church. <laughs> you guys, please have mercy. Okay, I was walking to church 
with my grandmother okay and yeah that's all i could remember i don't remember that much of course you know we was wearing the i was wearing the usual outfit the church dress and then the bulgogo meaning the barrettes in my head with the um the huge bow on both sides of my head right <laughs> And yeah, I remember that um, as a four-year-old and eventually I grew up, of course, and became an adult. And as I was an adult, I was lukewarm, but rewind a little bit. Uh, prior to me becoming an adult, I used to go to a church called Mission of Hope. Blah, 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 blah. Wonderful church. <laughs> I used to go to Mission of Hope and I would dance, I would sing, and uh, your homegirl used to even preach there too. I was like a little kid. I only did it like three times. However, I did stop because I, when I volunteered or whenever um, I agreed to preach, they, I would get so nervous. <laughs> I would get so nervous. My hands would start to sweat. My head would hurt. And I was just like, this is so not normal. So, you know, I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. This is so uncomfortable. So, yeah, I only did it three times. And all those three times, I was still a little kid. I was probably like 15, 16, 17 preaching. Um, I can only remember one time I did an amazing job. <laughs> I don't even know what I, was preach what I was preaching about, but I remember I did an amazing job. You know, just wrapped it up very sweet and nice. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, I preached there and eventually I stopped. And as I got older, um, I think I was like 19 years old when I first got into my serious relationship. Um, yeah, I got, I think I got, I was, yeah, I was 19 years old when I first got into my first, um, serious relationship. No offense to my previous boyfriend at, around that time. However, I was an adult at that time, you know, an adult, <laughs> 19 and adult. <laughs> but yeah, I was 19 and I was in a relationship and that relationship was going well at first, but he felt as if I cheated on him when really I didn't. <laughs> and from there on, that relationship just went downhill. It was very toxic. It was not pleasurable. Um, it was a horrible relationship after a while. We did have two kids. So I do have two kids <laughs> out of wedlock. Yeah, I have two kids, two amazing, beautiful children, a boy and a girl. I love them so much. And we do co-parent now. And it was only by the grace of God that I came out of that relationship because I remember asking God, like, God, is this my husband? And God told me, no. This is not your husband. <laughs> well, he didn't say all that. He just said no. <laughs> like the way that he did it is um, okay. So I had asked him before I went to sleep, right? And at that time, um, the person was in a different country. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was in a different country. And um, I had prayed to God. I was like, God, is this my husband? And I went to sleep. And when I woke up, prior to me fully waking up, I heard a huge no. <laughs> and I was like, God, you ain't talking to me. Okay, you ain't talking to me. Okay. Because <laughs> it says it's my husband. I need to hear a yes, not a no. <laughs> That's exactly how we expect God to answer us. Whenever we want something, we expect a yes, but God knows what is best. And yeah, God said no. However, I stayed in that relationship out of pride. I began to um, compete, unfortunately. And yeah, it was just so horrible. But glory be to God, I came out of that relationship. God got me out and he kept me out once and for good. You know, I'm so happy that I'm not in that relationship by the grace of God. Yeah, I'm gonna keep saying it by the grace of God <laughs> because God only knows. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up this introduction and I'm just gonna answer a few questions that I think some people may have. Or if you have any questions, you can always put it down below and I'll go ahead and take a look and answer whatever I can answer, okay? So to wrap it up, as I said, um, so a few questions I may think that would think that some people may ask me is, what qualifies you to teach the Bible? Baby, I'm not qualified. <laughs> I'm not qualified. Matter of fact, 
it took me a while to even do this video. Um, I finally am sitting down today. What is today? October 22nd. Today, okay? To record this video. And the reason <laughs> I'm recording it is because I did my homegirl hair. And, you know, I was trying to do that as a side hustle. And I was so not happy with the outcome. And I was just like, uh-uh, I can't be doing hair. For one, like, it took too long. And then for me to mess up and to not be satisfied, like, okay, for one, I took too long. Okay, cool. But now you took too long and you messed up? Okay. Time to look for different side hustles. So I wouldn't necessarily call this to be a side hustle, but it definitely, well, I wouldn't call doing YouTube to be a side hustle. However, it de that situation definitely encouraged me or pushed me to go ahead and do the video today, all right? So like I said, I'm not qualified. Um, I don't feel qualified. But as we know, God always used the ones that are not qualified. Like he, said, like he says in the Bible, he says he used what is foolish to confound the wise. And <laughs> foolish. <laughs> using to confound whoever think that they are wise okay but yeah i'm not qualified and i don't think i'm qualified and it is god by the grace of god that i will be able to do this um youtube show this youtube channel it's not by me it's not by my might it's not by my strength but by the spirit of the lord <laughs> and we want the spirit of the lord to be in this youtube called imperfect and chosen yeah i have to keep looking at my tv onto the side <laughs> just to remember because i just changed the name um i just changed the title of the youtube i was like brainstorming so now i finally came up with a solid name which is imperfect and chosen now i need to remember it okay and as i already answered am i married i'm not married to children out of wedlock um I'm praying if you're a woman of God, if you're a man of God, pray for me to get married. If you're not a man of God, a man of God, a woman of God, please get saved, get saved first. Get saved first. <laughs> All right. And then, whoa, what church do I go to? I attend two churches. Uh, the first one is called Patmos Chapel. The second one is called um, Remnant Revival. I think those are amazing churches um some people i enjoy watching on youtube you know just a random fun thing <laughs> i like to watch tony gaskins yes i like watching tony gaskins might be a little controversy candace owens a lot of controversy around her but i like her yes i do <laughs> as a black woman i do like her i think she's wonderful um i like to watch only one jess uh, she did start off with doing like hair content, but now she's doing a little bit more. She's doing vlogs. She does hair. She does um, products, like makeup products and stuff like that. And I like to watch Rihanna Janice. I like to watch, I like to watch those two on um, Only One Jess and Rihanna Janice. I'm um, sorry, Rihanna. Rihanna Janice. If I messed up your name, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Please have mercy. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, I like to watch those two because not only are they like talking about life, but they also Christian women, according to what I could see on YouTube, because I don't know them personally. I never met them in person. But according to what I could see on YouTube, I do like what I see. Um, I like the fact that they include the Bible. Um, they do it different differently. And, um, you know, Jess, only one Jess, she's married. And her husband, time to time, um, gives like Bible quotes or Bible study, like many Bible studies, just to like educate or elevate or motivate other people. And Rihanna, she also does the same thing um, time to time in her video. She do a little Bible study, but she also do host her own Bible studies. Check out her page <laughs> to um, figure out like the time and the days that she does the Bible studies. Rihanna Janice, you owe me a check run me my money <laughs> i'm just kidding girl i'm just kidding <laughs> all right y'all i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up i hope you guys enjoyed this mini introduction with me and i do hope that you guys stay tuned to see what else comes out and i hope you have a wonderful day bye